Welcome to another video. As you might know, my name is Jasper, and today in this Webflow tutorial, what we're going to be covering is how to create blurry animated backgrounds in Webflow. So as you can see right here, you've got this one right now. You probably see the background just slowly moving around, and that's what I'm going to show you how to create today. So let's jump in. Um, so we have ordinary body. Obviously, nothing's there. So first up, we're going to need to create a section. So let's do that. We're going to give it a full height. So let's say full height width there we go and then we're also going to give it a background color so I have one preset here let's grab that awesome and then we're also going to want to make sure everything's centered and we're going to make it relative as well then next up we're going to need a div block we're going to call that wrapped um, text good enough and then we're going to make that absolute as well it should be in the middle so let me just see what's going on there there we go okay and then we're going to add some text into it so let's grab ourselves a heading and we will call this cool no there's tool cool moving effect great and then we're also going to make that absolute and no we're not we're going to make that relative we're then going to increase the size a bit so let's make it five rem nice big size change the color to white we're going to give it a Z index of 99. All right, now let's jump into getting the blurriness for the backgrounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a div block. So chuck that there. We're going to make that absolute. And then we're going to put it down in the corner. But what we're going to do is we're going to give it a, let's say a height of about 60 feet width. And then also another 60 for the height. There we go. And we're going to go with the purple color that I have set here. All right, so let's go to the background. Make that purple. And then we're going to give it a, make it a circle as well. So we're going to give that 100%. And then we're going to go over to filters here. And we're going to give it a blur. And for the blur, I think I'm going to go with... 200 yeah 200 should work right and what we're going to call that div block is let's call it circle underscore one so all right let's just okay that's already taken so let's call it circle underscore five there we go starting new and then let's copy it as well and then we're going to need, need to give it a new class so duplicate class call it circle underscore six there we go and then we are going to move that across to the top right hand side we're going to give it a different sizing as well because we don't want them all to be the same size so for this one we'll say 40 on both sides looking good and for the blur we could probably keep it but let's say if we want to bump it up to 250 just to make it a little bit different and then let's copy that again duplicate the class make it a seven and then we're going to put it down into the bottom corner there we go and maybe we'll make it a little bit bigger so let's say we could go with actually we'll make it a 35 instead a little bit different there we go and then what we're also going to want to do is set their z index so that's going to be number one this one's going to be number two i think we get this one a two as well there we go all right now let's jump into the actual animations so if we go over here we're going to go to the page trigger i'm going to get rid of that there we go and we're going to go page load okay then we're going to go select animation 
So start animation when page loads. I'm going to set this on a loop as well. Start animation. So there we go. And let's just call this circle moving. Easy. All right. So for the first animation, it's going to be moving. And we're going to put that at zero. And this is going to be its initial state. And it's going to be 0% and 0% because that's where it starts off. And then we put another one in there. Move again. Now we're going to make this five seconds. And I think we're going to move it about a negative 15%. Yep. And then also another negative 15%. Move it up. There we go. And then we will add another movement. And this will be five seconds as well. And this is going to be 0%. 0%. And 0%. And that's going to move it back into its original position. And then what we're going to do is we're going to jump over here to the second one. We're going to add another move. And we're going to also make this set as initial state to 0%. 0%. Let's put one over here for the move. And this time, I think we'll probably move about, let's say, 25% to the side and maybe 15% down. There we go. Set that to five seconds as well. I'm going to jump in here, put in another, and it's going to be 0%, 0%. And that's going to be for five seconds as well. Okay. And then we need our final one. So number seven technically, but it is actually number three. Let's go move. And we're going to set as initial state. Move again. And we're going to make it five seconds. This one, I think we'll go negative 15 as well. Into the, actually, now let's go negative 20 and then we will move it negative 15 percent up I'm making some mistakes as I go along but it's all right people mistakes happen there we go We've got five seconds we're good and let's just set it back to its initial state of zero percent zero percent as well and that's going to be five seconds and that should be it. So let's hit save. We got it on loop. Let's have a preview. It might be a little bit hard to see when it's in this preview mode, but I believe it's working. So that's great. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit publish. All right. And let's take a look. And there you have it. You can slowly see them moving around. And that's how you make a blurry animated background extremely simple will only take you a couple minutes to do um as always you know if you do like these videos please give it a thumbs up so a like and also subscribe as i release these webflow tutorials on a regular basis um also um as i might have said in one of my other videos i have been using a new sort of project management as well as sales management tool just for managing everything really and it's called monday.com um, now you can get a forever free account with them if you, you go to my description you will see the link there and that's a uh, free account which you can use forever but um yeah thanks for watching this video and look forward to seeing you in the next one